kind of freaky folks, you know, when you see that sort of stuff, you can see how long they've had this plan in the making. You know, World Economic Forum rolling out their whole plan to restructure the world, the great reset that we need to combat this terrible crisis and the terrible state of police brutality that we find ourselves in. Everything that these people who run the World Economic Forum have done, and now they're offering us their solution, which is to basically lock everybody into a smart prison. The smart prison that I've been telling you they're rolling out for so long. You know, and to think that they've put this plan in place just kind of now as a response to COVID. I mean, you have to have rocks in your head, folks. The response was already there. They just needed the crisis in order to trigger the response. It's all about triggers, folks. You know, it is simply the trigger that they needed to roll out everything that they needed. Problem, reaction, solution, ladies and gentlemen. That's how they do it. Something else that I said, problem, reaction, solution, was that the protests, they needed the protests in order to justify the spike in cases and to justify the second wave. Interesting test too, you know, I mean, we know that these tests don't work. They even say that if you test negative, it may not really mean negative. If you test positive, it may not really mean positive. So if that's the case, what is the point of the tests? And they're also talking about the virus recession that we will probably have. There's, you know, investigations to find out just how bad the recession will be the recession that's been caused by the virus but folks let's be clear about it it has not caused a recession there is no virus recession a virus has not caused a recession the recession that is coming has been caused by the politicians in their response to the virus you know the economy was due to collapse folks we've been talking about it for years this economy cannot last it has to go down we've been talking about it for so long and we can see it coming but what do they do they can't just let it collapse and have people blame them for it they've got to create some other place to put the blame again they create this whole then we have their response which is to shut the world down do everything they've done and they could blame the virus. But it hasn't been the virus. It's been them all along, folks. You know, everything they've done has been deliberate. Even if you go to the World Economic Forum website and you look at the response for COVID, if you go to that website, you start clicking through, you've got to sign up for it. But if you start clicking through, one of the videos says that it's been a plan that has been 50 years in the making. If we don't wake people up, then they're going to lead us into this slavery system, whether we like it or not. You know, even if we refuse to comply, everybody else is going to lead us in there. That's the problem. You know, that's the problem with what we're facing here, folks. You know, we're at a really important time here. We really are. And, you know, now is the time for everybody to realise that, you know, there's a war being waged against us. And we have a lot of tools that we can use to fight this war and we can fight on the digital battlefield. Hit Twitter, hit Facebook, hit everywhere you can. Do everything you can to get the word out to people, folks, because there's nothing more important than this issue. Our whole world is changing. It's not gonna go back. We're at a time in history where we find ourselves on the front line, all of us. We're on the front line here, folks. That's the thing. A lot of people just don't realize World War III has already started. It's a war that's being waged against the people of the world by the politicians of the world. The problem is the people don't realize it's happening. This response to this, this social isolation, this removal of even our oxygen, we're not wearing masks. This is such bullshit, folks. Like I said, it's, it's complete bullshit. Everything they're doing to us is to make us sick, folks. And that will be your second wave. And you know, the second wave will be fear and paranoia driven more than anything else. I mean, the first wave is fear and paranoia driven. I mean, how can they even have a second wave? There wasn't a first wave. There hasn't ever been a pandemic. It's all been about this legislation. It's all been about this police state, the whole thing, ladies and gentlemen, these parasitic morons that we have masquerading as government. What matters is that we realize what's happening and we realize the steps we need to take to get ourselves out of what's happening. You know, the steps we need to take to find freedom again.